This is Dr. Holt. I'm going to teach you how to program a TI-83, 84, or 84 Silver Edition um, to solve a quadratic equation. Now I've just created a, a simple quadratic equation. So what I've done is I took x minus 3 and x minus 2 and multiply those together and that gives me x squared minus 5x plus c. Now this one's going to be real easy but we can prove our results. So here your roots would be 3 and 2. Now your leading coefficients here would be a 1. Get the calculator back up here. A 1, I'd have a minus 5 here and a 6 here. Again, that's going to be your A value here, your B value, and your C value. So let's go ahead and get started on how to program this calculator. So bring it up, turn it on. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go to the program key. It's located right here. Select program, and you're going to create a new program. So scroll over to new hit number one. Now you're asking for a name. Now to do this you're going to have to give it alpha letters. On your calculators you have letters from A through Z. So we want to select alpha first and then select math. That's going to give you if you want an A. So we want to we'll call it the quad program. So we want to go down and find Q. Now Q is on number nine. Oops, so if that happens just back up and hit alpha number nine. Now we go looking for U. Now U is going to be located on the number 5, so alpha 5, alpha A, alpha D, and D is going to be located right here. So that's our name, we just hit enter. Okay, so now we get a name. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to, it when it dis I want to give it a display first, so we're going to go over to the program. You're going to scroll over to I.O. and you're going to hit display first, so number three. So now we want it for it to appear as a as some type of quadratic equation. So now I'm going to, to do that, I need to hit alpha. You need to use the parentheses. Now the parentheses you're going to hit plus. And we're going to hit alpha A. And I'm going to hit alpha X. And X is going to be located at the store command, so alpha store 2 okay now we'll do plus alpha B we'll go back to alpha X plus alpha C okay now make sure you use the last uh, value here to get that to get that to show up all right so now that's your display command so now at this point, go ahead and enter. Now we're going to go ahead and ask for it. We're going to use a prompt. So we go back to program. We go over to I.O. We're going to hit the prompt, which is number two. And now we're going to, we're going to ask. It's going to, what we're trying to do is set up so it asks us for these values. So we're going to get alpha A. We're going to go to the comma command right there. Select comma. Alpha B. Comma. Alpha C. Okay, so it's going to prompt us for those values there. All right, so far so good. All right, so let me go back here. I'll pull mine down. Sorry, my calculator just went down. I'm not sure. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter, and we're going to put in the quadratic equation. And I'm going to recommend you use double parentheses here. And I'm going to do a minus b. So really, doing all we're doing is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But we're going to do each one separately. We do the minus b first. So alpha b minus the square root, and that's going to be second square root of alpha b squared minus 4 alpha a alpha c. And close that off with two parentheses divided by, use a parentheses, and we want to do 2a. So 2 alpha a. Close parentheses. Come on, i stall here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Once you get that, you want to store that. So we're going to have store it, in, and we're going to store it in, and you give it any letter you want, but I would not use recommend a, b, or c. We're going to store it in alpha d. So alpha d it's going to be this value right here. Alright, so now we hit enter. 
Now we go back again and we're going to do another one. So we're going to do minus B. So if that happens, just hit, go ahead and hit clear. Alpha B plus this time. Second square root of B squared squared minus 4 alpha A alpha C do two of those divided by again 2A 2 alpha A we will close these and now we're going to store that in E so we go back to store alpha E and the E is going to be located at the sign command just like that so so far so good I hope now we're almost done we just want to hit enter we go back to program and this that we want our display our results display is number three and we're going to just hit alpha D D we hit comma alpha E okay so now you've written your first program alright we're going to see if it's going to work now so I'm going to hit uh, second quit we're going to get out of that we go back to programs there's a program so we just hit number one we hit enter to run a program now you notice it's displayed at the quadratic equation it's asking us for a so we're going to key in one we hit enter now it's ask us for b so we'll hit minus five and again all I'm doing is doing the following these values here I hit enter I ask for six I mean ask for the c value I put in six I hit enter and it better spit out two and three and it does so it solved the quadratic equation and that's how the program works anyway hope this was useful um, I'll try to put some other programs on there in the future I have another one that will solve a will do foiling for you uh, which is also quite useful all right best of luck